just such a beautiful day. In turn, I just cannot tell you how happy it makes me to come into the zoo and work here every day. That's what keeps you plodding, even though the guests complain and the animals sometimes pass away from old age or do silly things like try to climb out of their exhibits. Oh, oh, Heather just gave birth! That's very exciting! I cannot believe how successful all of the... the Yep, yep. And the mandra duck is now pregnant. How successful all of our duck and camels have been with having tons and tons of babies. Ah, <sighs> and actually we're doing quite well with them, but today we are going to work on something very fun in turn. We are actually going to be working on finishing up this playground, making it very nice. And then I was trying to think, what sort of small animal could we tuck over here? Could we just kind of put right here as a little thing that the guests can walk in, look at, check out? And it occurred to me, the tree frog. I want the tree frog to go over here. So we're going to look at some smaller animals that we can put into possibly a little enclosed area right about here. And it'll po probably have at least one exhibit, maybe two or three little small exhibits. Possibly the little reptiles, and then people can walk through it, pop out the other side, check out our amazing red pandas, who are doing quite well, by the way. Check out how happy everybody is with them. In fact, we're gonna jump down and ah, see how in person how happy everyone is. Looking good, guys, looking good. Oh, okay, not happy, not happy. Why not happy? She's thirsty, needs to use the restroom. I can understand that's probably a bit of a conundrum for you, ma'am. She wants to get a drink. Why did I think she needed to use the restroom? She's thirsty. Alright, how's it going at the coconut stand? Brisk sales for the coconut water. I just cannot believe how many people are buying them. We might have to add another coconut stand kind of over here because people just don't seem to have the patience to walk across to the other side. Huh. Anyway, the little park is coming along quite nicely. I'm very happy with what we've got. I figured out if we put together these two lamps, it turns into this really awesome twisting vine creation so you can enjoy both the flowers and the ferns. So we've got two different types of lamps merged together to make this awesome beautiful lamp. And I figured we'd put some of the more fun little plants, maybe some bromeliads, possibly some uh, birds of paradise and some other things to decorate over here. But to also celebrate, oop, and you know what, let's actually take just a moment to release some of the mandarin ducks, the happy ones, to the wild, just so we can get a little bit of a control on the population explosions going on over there. Let's see, mandarin duck number one, well he's a matriarch, he's been kicking around for a long time. Because there's lots and lots of eggs too, <laughs> so we don't need to worry too much about the wee mandarin ducks. Let's see, is there another mail we can send out? We're already releasing 15 to the wild. Alright, there we go. Ooh, noisy helicopters. Off you go, little ones! And actually, we could also send out... Any other camels? I don't think the camels are doing okay. The wild horses are doing quite well, too. Hmm. And actually, what we need to do is try to get our hands on another panda. The- oh, oh, oh! The island raccoon is pregnant again! In fact, we could probably send off the island raccoon's other mate, or other baby that it had, so that it can help with the, the species conservation. How are our little rabbits doing? I think they're still just wee ones. Just wee little baby rabbits. Oh, they're so cute. Alright. Number three, number four. Yep, we can send off their other young. Number three. And we'll just adopt out number three. There we go. Released off to the wild. Oop, and I just saw a kid playing on the playground. Oh, that makes me very happy. Look, look, look. See, I just decided that these, these gorilla climbing bars are my favorite. So we're going to keep them. Keep them and work with them as the kids play. And we'll leave the bouncy birds. <gasps> look at that. We've gained some more fame for releasing our animals to the wild. That's fantastic. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, all right. Let's see what else we can get set up for everybody over here. So that they've got places to sit, places to relax, places to play. I'm trying to get a little bench installed so that if parents want to sit down, they can just kind of relax in the shade, watch their kids, don't have to worry about too much. And let's see what we can add in. All right. Do -do 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 -do. Waiting for our catalog. There we go. All right, so let's see here. Oh, look at this little guy. The plumbed basilisk. Oh, he's definitely going in. So there's already two little critters that I want to add in. Or the Jackson Chameleon, actually. 
The Jackson Chameleon definitely needs its own spot. It is technically an African animal, so we could save it for a reptile house. Ooh, the Panther Chameleon. Oh, I do love the Panther Chameleon. I have a soft spot for these reptiles in turn. I will admit it. All right, let's see if we can roll down. Check out. Pretty sure we've got, aha, there it is. Reptiles, lots and lots of reptiles to pick from. Like the leaf-tailed gecko. That's another fantastic one. Yep. I think we can get at least three exhibits going for our animals. So let's figure out how we're going to set that up. We'll go with the leaf-tailed gecko and work around its needs because it is actually a vulnerable animal. Got to keep an eye out on taking good care of it. Hmm. Hmm. So which walls to use? Oh, so many beautiful hedges. So many shrub hedges. Okay, we can move on. We can move on. Just because they're plants doesn't mean I'm automatically going to use them. Stop staring at me like that in turn. I mean it. I'm going to put my foot down this time. Glass fence, chain link fence, white plaster walls. Oh, no. Hmm. We could do a little stone house. That's kind of appealing. The idea of doing like a nice little, little stone house. Do we have some yet? Yeah, see, they've got the little glass. So we could, we could possibly do a nice little stone house. Hmm. I think that'd be okay. We can try it out at least. We'll see if we can have any any luck working this way. Hmm, very tall stone. Okay. So how would we do this? Make a nice little exhibit. I don't know. Hmm. No, 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 no. I think it'd just feel too overbearing, like walking into a giant cave. Now this might be more like it. This rock wall. I could see our guests being happy with that. Hmm. Let's research rock, hall, rock wall three. Height, where's our glass for that? Let's see, there's three. We need the glass for three. Two, two, four, three. There it is. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of research into that so that we can build a little, a little rock exhibit where we can keep our little geckos and our little lizards. Oh, that makes me so excited. I love geckos and lizards. So while we are waiting for those to finish up, we'll add in some more plants, some fun little plants that we can put down. Let's see, tropical rainforest. Um, I don't know if we want a killy tree. Eh, why not? It'll make a nice little, nice little protective awning. There we go. Killy tree there. Actually, not right there, because we want to put people, like a little path for people there. Oh, look at him! He's so happy. He's able to run around. Ooh, look at that beautiful paleo palm tree. Oh, just gorgeous. So many new trees available to us now that they finally trust me again with the new stars. Ah, we lost half a star again. Ah, how did we do that? I swear I just turned my back for like not even two seconds. Ooh, the basket ferns. I love the basket ferns. We'll put a few basket ferns on top of there. Mm -hmm. I approve, I approve. The orangutans are growing up. Ah, there we go. Research for our walls is complete, so we can get started on that. Glass wall, rock wall three. All right, where are you, my little one? Good, and the kids are entertained. That's what I want to see, happy children. It is a little bit difficult to get happy children in this zoo, which is so nuts. This is a zoo. I was always happy when we went to the zoo as a child. It was the most exciting event of the year. All right, let's see. Where's my rock walls? Rock walls, there you are. All right. So next up, we're going to build a little enclosure where we can keep our animals. We don't need a ton of space for these particular uh, reptiles, but I don't want to give them too little, too little room either. Yeah, I think we'll hug, hug this area right here. People will walk through right here. This is right at the entrance. Look at how we have managed to work our way backwards. So now we are right at the entrance of our zoo again. That makes me so proud in turn. We put a lot of work into this. All right, here we go. So we'll have like one exhibit right here. Can we fit one? I think what we'll do is we'll scoot the doors a little bit. So they're like over here. And yeah, that should work. Then we can make this a small exhibit. And then this a small, large-ish exhibit. And then we'll come out 
like this and make one more smaller to be a bit. Ah, there we go. And I think what we'll do is we'll put another door right there for people to get in and out. Good, because these guys, as wonderful as they are, don't need too much room. In fact, with some chameleon species, some of the breeders that I've known have expressed concern at how you have to be very cautious because if you put the water dish too far away from, say, one of their chameleon species, the chameleon can't really find the water. So you have to be very cautious about size, believe it or not, with these guys. Try to make enough room. That should be okay. That should be okay. If we're not happy with it, we can always give them more room in the future in turn. There we go. Look at that. So we've got three little exhibits set up. Because these guys are dancy. Dancy tiny, see? Dancy tiny little ones. So this should be a good size for them to walk through and explore. Let's grab our jungle path. Put it in so we know where we're going. Oh, I like this. See, the reptile house is always one of my favorite exhibits to go in in any zoo. And I have a feeling our guests just might feel the same. All right, we're going to change that, though. And I also wanted to give them a little bit of a tour of this spot just so they can come over and peek at the, the red pandas from this point of view if they want to. And then we're going to go back to the jungle path. Good. And there we go. See? That's not so bad. Alright, now let's set up the panther chameleon first. I think we'll put Mr. Panther Chameleon right here. And we'll save the Jackson's Chameleon for the safari zone. The plum basculus. Hmm. There's our tree frog. The Australian green tree frog. Which is incorrectly listed as being in South America here. But we'll put tree frogs in here. And we'll put the chameleon in here. And we might reconsider the third one. So we'll, we'll look over that in just a second. Alright, let's begin with you, panther chameleon. And let us make your exhibit as perfect as possible. Let's see a little bit of dirt. A little bit of grass. Let's see. Oh, we've got a little invading, invading piece of path. No! We've got to fix that. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hang on. Okay, can I get it? Ah, I can't get it. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with that. That's okay, in turn. I don't think he'll mind. Chameleons, from what my personal experience has been in helping out with them, and uh, I used to work in a rescue where I would help out with the reptiles. We specialized in rescue reptiles, my friend and I, because people really don't know how to handle their reptiles. I'm telling you what. All right, yeah, we'll put little, little glass roofs on top. Oh, that'll be so nice. Especially because it'll give them some of that natural sunlight that a lot of these reptiles really need. You have to put special lights on their enclosures. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is what I'm talking about. Nice, beautiful, tropical background. Absolutely stunning. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. Let's see. So we want... That one, and this one, and then can we swap it out to the one high? Hmm. All right, we'll layer it like this. There we go. And let's go ahead and put that in the other exhibits as well, because that's going to help make that backdrop not look so, you know, like blocky. Hmm. At least we could, if we could do that here. I think it's going to be stubborn. No! No! Well, it's gonna have to be okay. Alright, we'll pluck that down. I think that'll be okay, because this is gonna be where the frogs are. And then we'll plunk these down in here. I don't know what's going in here just yet, but we'll get there. I'm not worried. There's that, and there's that. Oh, it's so perfect! Just waiting for the new additions. Wonderful, wonderful. These actually remind me a lot of the backdrops that I have for my animals. <gasps> Look at the little burrows they gave them. That's kind of silly. They don't really need burrows as much as they need, um, wow. They don't really need burrows as much as they need trees to be in. But that's okay. Now let's get them really small trees. That'll fit because the K-pop is not going to fit. The Achilles is not going to fit. Really teensy trees. That'll fit inside their exhibit. That traveler tree is definitely not on the list. There we go, like a little tree fern. 
I'm only gonna put mm, like a few trees in here because we want to be able to see the chameleon and it is a teensy little thing. I'm telling you. There we go. Can I put in a little rock? Ooh, I can. Medium rainforest rock. I think this would be good for the chameleon, but it's just huge. So let's move these. Let's move these two trees, these two plants. Nope, not happening. Chameleon, you get little rocks, and that's okay. I think he'll be happy with that too. There we go. Get in some little ferns. Teensy little ferns in here for a teensy little animal. And a few random little plants. And something with a little bit more oomph to it. These palms are very nice. I don't want to hide our little guy though, so we gotta be careful. Just to kind of cut put in the corner there. Hmm. Look at all the new plants we have. I'm so glad they're finally letting me use more plants. It was really hard going without plants. Alright, look at the monsoon grass in the background. Oh, it's looking good, looking good. I'm very happy about this. There we go. All right, and then, a couple bird of paradise. I can't help it, I just love them. Ooh, and the toadstools, definitely some toadstools. Had the toadstools back there. That's better. And then we'll put in some zebra orchids. And, ooh, wow. Wow, that's pretty. See, there's little vines, I think we're okay. The vines are more for putting into the big exhibits with the big trees. What's this? Ooh, a little one, I like it. Okay, put a few of them down. And voila, hopefully that's not too crowded. Oh yeah, we forgot their little burrow. Well, fudge knuckles. I don't think they, they need the chameleon tree more than anything actually. So the chameleon tree is the important thing. I don't think the burrow is actually that essential for their well-being, but we'll keep an eye on them just in case. Dropping water, definitely. Definitely need some some of this. All right, I'll put it back here for him. I want to make sure it's not blocked by anything. There we go. That's better. And some food. Some little insects. Little insects for him to eat. There, that is fantastic. I'm so excited. We have a little panther chameleon exhibit. All right, and then we're gonna put in one female and one male. Then we're gonna remember to put in a gate because I forgot to gate again. And then we're gonna pop in and check him out. There's that. And voila! Oh my gosh, our first reptile house item! <gasps> Ooh, look at him! Oh, they're so bright. I wonder if the temperature's too not right, not right yet. Don't worry, we'll give you guys a little a little covering pretty soon. Oh my goodness. It's a chameleon. Look at it, intern, it's a chameleon! Oh, I'm so excited! Okay. Where's the other one? Are they just kind of staring at each other? They are just kind of staring at each other. Uh, pardon me, pardon me. Hi guys. Well, what do you think? Not that impressed, are you? That's fine, that's fine. Why is my camera being fussy? Wait, ah, ah. Whoops. Yay, our maintenance workers are back from their strike. Well, that's okay because these guys are absolutely gorgeous. I like it. Oh, it's moving. Is it going for the insects? What are you doing, little panther chameleon? Where are you going? To your chameleon tree? It's a really nice chameleon tree. Ooh, it's so pretty. Hi, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just going under its chameleon tree. That's adorable. Well, you guys are exceptionally handsome. I like them. I like them a lot in turn. All right, let's wiggle out here. We've got some space where we can put in another one of those uh, drink stands and we can put something nice in here. Oh, and we've got some gentlemen already coming to, to check out our wonderful animals. So I am quite pleased. All right, so let's see. Look at how full this zoo is getting. Goodness gracious. We're gonna have to go visit some of our other zones pretty soon, but we'll finish up the reptile house before we do that. All right, and let's get a little donation box in here. And then I think we're good to go.